So this just means that it has an opportunity that we can string many of these small molecules together, okay? So these are atoms strung together with more atoms, um, which form a small molecule. Let's start stirring, okay? We had the absolute privilege of partnering with uh, UMass Amherst, specifically the Conti Polymer Research Center, um, where they do multi-million dollar experiments with government funding and they, they work with their hands and they, they do actual real science. So being a STEM school, we need partners like that and we need our students to make a connection. And to have a connection locally, I think is an incredible experience. There were about 20 professors, grad students, and I believe some undergrad students all studying polymer science. What they did is they came to our school with 10 different experiments. The scientists came in, worked with the kids, and they all participated in polymer-based science labs. You know, being a STEM school, and a, you know, a new STEM school, yes, it's in our name, but uh, to actually reach out and bring STEM in and make STEM come alive for them, that was awesome. I mean, we had all of our school this morning engaged. You know, you had kids who were interested in what was going on, you had kids with eyes on, you had kids who were able to manipulate and move and uh, get things done. And again, you were surrounded, they were surrounded by the majority of which are young people. You know, kids in grad school, maybe bachelor's degree, just beyond the mid-twenties. So the reason why it was kind of floating like that is because it's evaporating from the bottom and it's floating on a little cloud of its own vapor. They remembered middle school. They were quick to say they didn't know they wanted to be scientists. They didn't know what they wanted to do with their lives. And that science opened up a pathway for them. So I think for them to see it, make it real, it was amazing. I heard several kids talk, saying that uh, they were thinking about careers in medicine. And just having that science connection is a wonderful thing. I'm a first year student. So in the first semester, we had to finish the coursework. And we have uh, started doing our research from this semester on. And the work that I'm going to do is the chemical upcycling of polymers. So that is basically uh, the plastic dilemma that we face right now. So we are trying to upcycle the polymers rather than downcycling it by making it into more useful things. What kind of money are you looking to make after you're done with all your college? Anyone else want to guess? We have 50,000, 70 to 80,000, well, a year, right? All right, give us a number. So usually our student coming out from graduate school is about $100,000 a year. Everyone ready? So one thing I think is super important about the things that we do in our um, department um, as a graduate school is really just educating young minds and really being able to connect them back with the importance of science um, and just teach them that, you know, polymer is all around us um, and that just to think about this as a potential career option, I think I just think it's so important for young people to see that there are so many paths that they can, they can take. It looks like as we increase the amount of salt, we have more water, right? I'm a third year graduate student in our department, um, so I specifically come and work with protein that bind to polymers and deliver them to the cell. Um, but our department has a lot of different wide applications in terms of you know biomedical industries or like flame retardants, and so we're really a very diverse group of graduate students. <laughs> the, the amount of scientists from from Japan and Germany and France and the United States all working on this has just been incredible. Okay. And we're going to tell you about some of the work that we've done at, the, at UMass Amherst uh, to help provide a little bit of uh, understanding of how this comes together. Today was like a day to experience like how scientists and how they do their work. And like it's good because we all go like we're all in a community. We learn what like scientists experiment and it's good for us because at our age and when we start growing up, you, like we, we can start noticing things. I think it's something new. Like, literally new. I saw the ball pop, it was really loud, and shattered like glass. It did that because the liquid, it like, freezes up the ball, and then just threw on the floor and it impacted. It was fun for me because I got to do different experiments and different things. It was helping me think about how my interest in science just really improved and all of this because all of this seemed really fun for me to try and then I'm looking forward to in the future trying all this stuff and even more. When I'm older I want to be a zoologist, like a form of like science for animals and help like the environment and I, it helps because like they're doing stuff to help 
like change things, like get away with plastic and figure out new materials to use. So it's just really great to be able to come in and talk to the students and teach them about something and see their eyes light up when they learn some new cool science and get them excited and hopefully they're going to be the future scientists of, you know, tomorrow in the future.